Hi, my name is Harpreet and I'm a Senior Director of Product Management at CloudBees looking at the Jenkins Enterprise product line. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about the high availability feature of Jenkins Enterprise. So let's, let's get into it. About 83% of Jenkins users uh, polled in the survey in 2012 said that their Jenkins instance was uh, uh, critical uh, and was mission critical and what happens in this scenario is if the Jenkins machine goes down or the failure is um, due to um, the J JVM going down it has a high cost of productivity and more often than not I've seen that uh, users uh, unhappy users are sending emails and that's how the admin um, is notified of uh, the failures so with the high availability solution what we've done is uh, you can set up multiple Jenkins masters and these masters and you can have any number of them these masters communicate with each over with each other over J groups and uh, choose a primary master and whenever the primary goes down a secondary master comes in and this type of solution is typically set up behind a reverse proxy so that end users are given a uh, local URL say Jenkins dot uh, dot organization name dot uh, com and it hides the active master behind and uh, in this case the orange box is the active master and the teal box is the uh, backup master <clears throat> one requirement is that these should be sharing uh, uh, a Jenkins home and uh, once the primary master goes down the secondary master takes over um, the since they share um, the Jenkins home all the job configurations and all the data is available to the backup Jenkins master and uh, we also provide a, um, MT, a monitoring tool uh, specified here as MT that lets you run scripts that can be done after a master goes down so you can demote stuff and you can run a promotion script that is run before a master comes up one of the commonly asked questions is can you run this in a uh, for geo redundancy in different data centers the answer is uh, yes although network latency factors come into play um, usually you have slaves running very close to the master and uh, the farther they are from each other um, uh, the slower the builds are so at CloudBees we recommend having HA as uh, an ability to you know set up in in a local data center and uh, do a manual failover in uh, if a you know a data center goes down the other question is uh, asked is does uh, the high availability feature provide you any load balancing capabilities and the answer is no in uh, what the HA feature does is um, just have one Jenkins that keeps on acting as the primary master and a backup Jenkins uh, that comes up when the primary master goes down uh, let's do a quick demo of what this looks like so in uh, what you see here is uh, at localhost 8000 I have my reverse proxy set up that is uh, internally routing the request to localhost 9090 and um, I have another uh, Jenkins instance set up at localhost 8080 and in this case when I bring that up uh, it gives a message that it's in the standby mode because there is already a primary um, server up and ready so with that uh, let's uh, uh, cancel uh, uh, let's just kill uh, the, the secondary master so I will do a kill minus 9 uh, kill minus nine on uh, what I believe is the primary and let's see what has happened here and uh, so my primary has gone down when I look at my reverse proxy it's sort of waiting right now and if I look at my secondary directly it has started coming up 
and at this point it's coming up that can be confirmed by looking at um, the reverse proxy and uh, at this point let's just give it a couple of more seconds for it to come up and as you can see my instance has come up and it is in fact uh, up and ready so the main advantage here to recap is it offloads a lot of active management that's required by a Jenkins admin um, you can have as many number of backup masters you know you can set up set them up on different machines and generally provide a good enough amount of redundancy in your infrastructure thank you